what's up guys it's osiris welcome to a brand new video i hope you guys are doing well yeah so today we'll be starting a new video series and we'll be taking a look at the fl studio reference manual so uh yeah i thought we should do a video series on the fl studio manual and this was one of the things that helped me understand fl studio and music production in general when i started learning and i believe this can help you too the manual of any software is the best resource for a software. So the manual or documentation for any software is the best resource. And you should always read the manual for any software or any hardware you buy. So the first thing we'll be looking at is how to access the FL Studio manual. When you're in FL Studio, you can just press your F1 key or your FN F1 key. And that opens up the FL Studio manual at the particular window you are in. So if you are in the channel rack window, it will open the FL Studio manual section of the channel rack. If you click on the mixer, this will open the mixer section of the FL Studio manual. So the FL Studio, the first thing about the FL Studio manual is that it's very window aware and it can just open up any parts you are in. So that's one way to access the manual. The other way is to download the manual offline. So this opens up an online version of the manual. But the other way is to download the manual offline and you can download the Windows or the Mac OS installer. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. So this will install like HTML files of the manual and you'll be able to use this offline. So once you've installed that, you can check it from general settings. Let's check that out. So this is general settings advanced and use offline help so let's scroll down to advanced use offline help so let's try this again i'm not sure if i have this installed so boom i have this installed and this just opens the manual offline so i'm going to turn this off because i want the latest version of the manual at all times so let's go back to general settings and i'm going to turn off use offline help so those are the two ways you can access the FL Studio manual. There are some old version of the manuals that are PDF versions, but FL Studio don't make those versions anymore. So the last thing about the FL Studio manual is that things are linked to each other. So for example, let's come over to, let's see. I'm just going to come over to the user interface. Then if you click on the piano roll, for example, it takes you just clicking on that image takes you to the piano, piano roll section of the manual. Then if I click on this slide note, it takes me to the slide portion of the manual and explains the slide notes. So this is one thing I like about the FL Studio manual. Things are linked to each other and it's very, very accessible. And yeah, so this is the introduction video of me going through the FL Studio manual with you. I think this is one of the best ways you can learn FL Studio and music production in general. And if you have mastery of your door, of your digital audio workstation, you'll be able to produce better music and you know what you're doing creatively and also technically. So yeah, this is the first video in this series. In the next video, we'll be checking out what FL Studio is and what FL Studio can do. I'll see you in the next video.